Hello, hello there, boys and girls and everyone in between. My name is Robin, and you have discovered Distracted by Diamonds. Yes, the very first edition. I feel special having you with me. I can just say that. I really have a new appreciation for people that do YouTube um, since I've been trying to do this because I've been trying to make this video for days. I feel like I've done it a hundred times, but I've only done it like meh, 10 times. You know, I'm just at the point now where I don't even care what I say anymore. I just want to say something to get it out there because I know what's going to happen. As soon as I rip the band-aid off and I upload this sucker and I introduce myself to all of you diamond painting girls, I'm going to feel a lot better about it and then I'm going to be able to go forward. I thought I was a good public speaker. I thought, you know, there's nothing like when you watch yourself on, on a video and you're saying, uh, and um, and you know, you're just repeating yourself and oh my God, it's, it's awful. And for grammar, <laughs> that's, that's funny. So I was going to do a drill and chill with you today, but I'm tired. I just don't have the wherewithal or the energy. And I don't want to make a really long video again because I did that and it just didn't turn out right. This was the setup I was working with. Yeah. Today, I got a new tripod. I got my tripod, but then my new diamond painting did not come. My tripod came and I was so excited and I got it out of the box and I was so happy and I thought, oh, this is gonna make all the difference. I'm just gonna be like a shiny new penny. <laughs> I'm gonna forge ahead with this video and it's gonna be fabulous. And this tripod is just as bad as what I was using. It might even be worse. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to use it for a drill and chill session at all. I'm really hoping that you guys will take some pity on me as a noob and leave me a comment and tell me what kind of tripod you use. If you're a diamond painter, I wanna hear specifically what kind of tripod you're using, especially for your drill and chats or your drill with me's and your whip and chat. About me. I'm a mother of three daughters. They're all grown and gone, which means I have a tampon when I need one. I have five chihuahuas and they bark a lot. And the worst culprit is this. Pippi is Peppy and Pippi barks a lot. And we've had her about six months or so. She was six months old when we got her. So she learned all of the bad habits from the other ones already. So it's just, ugh. What are you gonna do? If you're not a dog person and you absolutely hate the sound of barking dogs or something, you're not gonna wanna watch this channel at all. Don't even waste your time. I want you to change the channel right now. I want you to find something else to watch. I live with my husband, Ben. We've been together 25 years. It's mm, interesting. Um, what else? I am a crafter. I've been crafting for years and years. I do paper crafts. I make paper sculptures. I, here, I'll show you. I, so you don't have to just stare at my hand. I make cards. Now, anyone who makes cards is gonna see my lawn fawn, my lawn fawn and Copics. Lawn fawn, this isn't Copics, this is watercolor. I haven't made cards for a long time. I haven't done any stamping for a long time because lately I've been busy doing things for my daughter's wedding. <laughs> And in the midst of all of this wedding drama is when I discovered diamond painting. And I'm pretty sure it probably stopped me from having at least one stroke. But okay, so let me tell you how I got into diamond painting. I'm making these guys. I'm making these guys for my daughter's bridal shower because they were table decorations. I made 30. So I made 10 of these, 10 of these, and then 10 burgundy ones because this and burgundy was her colors. And then of course, you know, you have the whatever. So I'm sitting there and I'm paper piecing these together. And each one of these has like 20 pieces to it and I'm in a time crunch and they're not really coming out the way I like. And I felt really frustrated and aggravated. And I was listening to YouTube in the background and I started with Jeffree Star and somehow ended up on Alison Rosen as a crafty girl. Don't ask me how that happened. So Alison's talking and I'm, I'm just listening and I'm hearing these just odd words. But then she said the magic words, AliExpress. 
<laughs> so anyway, I went to bed that night not knowing anything about it, only having like halfway listened and maybe looked over at the screen a couple times. I start looking at diamond paintings and I was just gobsmacked. What? That's crazy talk. I ordered her that very first night, not knowing anything really about it, just that she was a diamond painting. And I luckily, I just luckily got um, her on Sophie Beauty Store. So I'm going to insert a picture of the original artwork right here. I just fell in love with her when I saw her. I was just, I said, yeah, I really want to do her. And I have the perfect spot for her on my wall. And I even got really lucky and I found a picture frame at Goodwill that honestly, I'm not kidding, is the exact perfect size that I need for her. And I am gonna frame her for you. I hope that you can get this on camera. Um, oh, my pad is under there. She's so sparkly. I mean, I just love, I love her sparkle. I love her shine. I haven't had any trouble with her at all. She is a little kinky from when she was boxed but mm, she's straightened out pretty good. And um, other than that, I haven't had any trouble except for two things. First thing is I'm gonna run out of 310s, ladies. That's, that's what I have. This is, oh, look at that, was awful. This is what I have. I have this many 310s, and as you can see, I mean, I still have another whole other arm to do, her whole, I'm gonna need some more black. And I'm pretty sure I'm also gonna run out of 3756s. So the other problem that I'm having is oily drills. So the canvas is good, the adhesive is good, there's no overcrowding, the drills fit really nicely. I love, you know, I, she's not rendered perfectly or anything, you know, I mean her cheeks are way off. There's a couple things that are way off. I still like her though. I, I really don't have the expectation that the renderings of these diamond paintings is going to be perfect unless it's a diamond art club. I don't want to talk about diamond art club yet. We'll get into that another time. Right now we're talking about Nomad Girl. She's a 50 by 60. She's not the first diamond painting I did. She's the first diamond painting that I ordered on AliExpress. The first diamond painting that I did. All right. I was trying an experiment. I didn't want to wait a month. I couldn't wait to get my hands on these diamonds and these drills and blah, blah, blah. I liked the image. I thought it would come out good. It just didn't. Okay, I learned two things. The first thing that I learned is single line work. Probably in just about any diamond painting that I've seen, but specifically, definitely in a small diamond painting. I mean, these are all tiny little, let me see if I can find a picture of her. Yeah, these are all tiny little hand-drawn things. They're just blobs. They just look like blobs. And I can tell you right now, too, I'm not going to like doing small diamond paintings, and I'm probably not going to do very many small diamond paintings. And by small, like, I'm thinking probably at least 50 by 60, unless I get a really good deal on something or unless someone gives it to me to do. But I also learned too that my framing experiment is still gonna work and I'm gonna show you that someday too, but I just need to tweak it a little bit better. So it wasn't a total waste. It's all a learning experience. I think I did her in like four days or so, four or five days. But hopefully by tomorrow, I will have the diamond painting to beat all diamond paintings. I am so excited to get this diamond painting. You have no idea. Okay, I had a friend that had this painting in her house and um we kind of lost touch i mean she moved away it's kind of sad and i miss her a lot so i'm so excited and if she gets here tomorrow i will unbox her but please in the comments if you take pity on me and leave me a message let me know what kind of tripod that you use let me know what you think of nomad girl i like her i think she's pretty i definitely think she's worth framing this is the kind of stuff that floats my boat. I want to do a quick shout out to all the girls that I've discovered so far that got me through this wedding stuff. All right, shout out to number one, Stitcherista. 
Girl, cuss all you want. I mean, screw these assholes. I want to meet an adult human being that never cusses. I want to meet that person. So that's just hypocrisy. It's just bullshit hypocrisy. Let it go. Don't even worry about it. Who else? Studio Sam was probably like the third person that I discovered. She's, you're so sweet. I mean, just that smile and that your personality. It seems like you know what you're talking about. And I can tell from like the artwork that you do from your, from your paint by numbers and the other things that I've seen on your channel that you do that you're a good crafter. Who else? Rachel Ray. Come on now. Hi, Rachel. I'm so jealous that you don't live in America. <sighs> Can I come and live with you for a while? <laughs> so I'm ready to get out of here. Just saying. I'm kind of scared at this point. Um, kicking cancer's butt. Jeez, I'm so tired. I know I'm gonna forget somebody. Please don't get offended. And I, I've only been doing this for like two months. I haven't watched nearly everybody that does it, so please forgive me. Miss Crochet and Coffee, of course. And oh. My favorite, my favorite girl, my sister from another mister, although she's a lot younger than me, so she's probably more like my niece from my father's brother, Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder. Hello to you, Jessica. Is I think that you'll, once you get to know me a little bit better, you'll agree that we have a lot in common. I'm excited because you uploaded a video, I think it was yesterday, and I got a notification and I haven't been able to listen to it yet, so if I'm not too exhausted, I'm probably gonna try to finish this little section right here and listen to your video. So that's gonna get me through the rest of tonight and then I'm going to sleep, people. You can come and unbox with me, we can chat and, you know, get to know each other. And I just wanna say this too, you know, I'm not gonna be able to make a lot of videos, but the reason that I wanted to do YouTube so much and the reason I decided to do diamond painting YouTube videos is because I like your community. I've been part, I have been a part of so many different crafting communities. There's some of them were more enjoyable than others, but a lot of them had a lot of drama. I mean, drama is human nature. So I don't expect never to have any drama in anything, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about backstabbing and hurting other people, you know, and I just feel like we should all be treating each other the way that we want to be treated. And I think the world would just be so much, so much of a better place. Treated. Maybe that'll be my tagline. Okay. So. Until next time, ladies, remember to treat each other the way you want to be treated. And I will see you next time.